Let's go through the steps you need to take for a successful setup. Once you've gone through the setup wizard, it'll take you straight to this page, which is the dashboard of your admin console. The dashboard is a page you'll use eventually once you start to get some form completion on the app, and it's used to monitor your team's food safety records. Let's check out the setup progress bar to see what we need to do next. I'm going to start with adding my suppliers. To add a new supplier, you can either do a bulk upload from a CSV file, or you can add a new supplier individually. Go through and select their supplier type, enter in their name, add any additional supplier information if you have it, but make sure you get those required fields of phone number and goods supplied. Click save and the supplier will be saved in your account. The next step we're going to do is add our equipment. I'll click on the equipment tab on the left, click either bulk upload to start downloading that CSV template, or click the green plus button to add a single piece of equipment. I'm going to add in my fridge for today. You can add a serial number below, add a description if needed, select the equipment category refrigeration. You can choose a service supplier or just select internal for someone who does your maintenance and how often they do the maintenance for that piece of equipment. I can also choose the last date that my equipment had been maintained if they would recently had a check. Since I chose the equipment category refrigeration, it's preset my temperature settings based off some recommended values. That way when I do my temperature checks, if my temperature goes above 5 degrees or below 2 degrees, my team will be prompted to explain why. Now that I've added a fridge, that piece of equipment will automatically show up in my temperature check form on the app. The next step I'm going to do is go to my business. I'll jump across to my food plan details and when you're ready scroll down and work through the food control plan questions. This is showing how you tailor your food control plan so take some time to make sure you've got these questions right. If some of these questions don't look relevant to your business you may have answered one of your wizard questions wrong in your setup. Just go and click edit food rules, re-answer those questions, that way you can have the correct information stored in your account. The next thing it's prompting me to do is add my staff and users. A user is someone with a login into Safe Food Pro. If your staff are all going to be using Safe Food Pro on their own mobile devices, then you'll need to set them all up as users. Click the green plus button, click the second icon to add a user with a login, and then add their details here. If your staff are all going to share the same tablet to fill in their food safety forms, then you just need to create one tablet user to log into the tablet and then set up all of your staff as a staff member without a login. That way they've got a way to fill in forms using their four digit pin code without you having to set them up with their own email address and password to log in. You'll see here I've set up a new staff member by adding a first name, last name and a four digit pin code for them. Now it's time to download the app from your app store on your mobile phone or tablet. Log in using those user details we just set up. Now you can start filling in forms. Check out your forms that are your daily, weekly, and monthly forms. Click the green plus button to access your ad hoc forms. These are forms that don't run off any specific schedule, such as training, incidents, staff sickness, receiving a delivery, and more. So don't forget to use these forms as well. To fill in one of your daily forms, simply click the form, answer the questions as required, then click save final to save it off, select your name from the list and enter your four digit pin code to sign the form off under your name. We recommend to have a good play around with the app to get used to how you would use it on the day to day. If you find you need to change the scheduling or the contents of the forms, jump across to the forms page on your admin console. To learn more, click the help button. This is full of heaps of videos and articles to help you get the most out of Safe Food Pro. If you get stuck from there, click the ask button and send an email to one of the members of our support team. We're always ready to help.